Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Pace Studio here in Midtown, New York City. Uh, we are very happy today to be joined by our friend Stolen Jars. Guys, thank you so much for coming around and playing for us. Thanks for having us. So uh, you released uh, an EP in April. It's called Glint. I think you're going to do a couple songs from that for us today. Um, what's the first one you're going to do for us? It's called Elliot. It's the first song off the EP. Cool. Great. <laughs> Let's go back to our snow There's some new feet fall Back just letting them go, letting them go, letting them go, letting them go. But what's mine are paired eyes in the dark of a car. No, it's the soft light, the cold tile. Can I keep things so small? Or should I call out? Now if I grow old echoes, find me a way Gone, find my place, some long lost day Where I don't know me But if I keep time in tones, hold some day Close just one day to lead my way These lines might keep me, lines might keep me, lines might keep me Thank you guys, that sounds great. Thanks. <laughs> so, um, I know that uh, when Glint came out, uh, it was accompanied, each, each of the five songs on the EP was accompanied by a piece of art, a video yeah. uh, created by a different artist. Yeah. Um, and so, naturally, I'm curious how the songs and those pieces of art go together. And when you guys tour or when you play like you are now, right. how the songs live apart from those pieces of art. Right. Well, yeah. The the whole idea for the visual EP kind of came together just from the songs being cinematic in and of themselves and kind of all being centered around a similar theme. Like it, the whole EP is kind of centered around this idea of 
memories kind of living in the present as tiny glimpses that you can't quite hold on to that then get shuffled back to the past. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to kind of see if, you know, five different artists could do, what five different artists could do with that theme and kind of make a very diverse five piece art project. And so, you know, as you're conceiving that, You've written these songs. Right. Presumably you've recorded the songs. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're kind of like putting the project, in a sense, in the hands of these other artists. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, is there an, you know, I'm, I'm curious, like, how comfortable you ultimately are with sort of, you know, giving that much of the package to others. Right. I, I mean, it just takes a lot of trust. It's lucky that um, we could find five people or five, you know, directors or co-directors who we could really trust with the work and who we felt like we knew they would do what they needed to do with it. It was, you know, we, we were pretty hands-off about it. You know, yeah. it was kind of like we give you the piece and then um, we talk about the concept with them, but for most of them, I, you know, I wasn't there on set. I was only there on set for a couple. And um, But you basically knew, like, the themes that the they themes were exploring they were and yeah, things like that. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so tell us a little bit about the next song you're going to do for us. The next song is called Bright Red, and it's off of Kept, which was our second album, which we put out um, not this summer, but the summer before. Um, and it's kind of a song about looking at photographs and photographs of relatives and trying to find a connection with people who you've never met, um, who you will never meet, <laughs> but, who, <laughs> but who are somehow you know, part of your history. Yeah, sounds good. Mm-hmm. Fences go, face bread of subtle senses, eyes and floating heads, alarms to hold, grains of them on paper. I can learn they lived in my already stalled. Just hoping my name I'll hold. No, I'm not what I was. Least I know they Um, 
So it sounds like, you know, from from what you said about Glint and uh, from some of the themes on Cap, that uh, the concept of memory is big for you. Yeah. Um, is that something <laughs> that you continue to explore in a sort of a deliberate way? Or is it just, is this the topic that is on your mind when you write songs? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how deliberate that is, certainly. I think it's just, you know what's on everyone's mind a lot of the time <laughs> it's like uh nostal- i mean i think the music also just kind of evokes that it's pretty nostalgic music and so when i go to write the lyrics after the music exists it kind of feels like it's sitting in that space how so. does how is the music nostalgic would you say um <laughs> i just think that it sounds that, i mean it sounds that way to me so it, it's it's it feels like it's you know the chords are longing for the next one or something you know okay, yeah and um that kind of feeling and that kind of emotion kind of pushes me towards uh, songs about memory. Although, obviously, I'm trying not to do only songs about that. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever uh, have any trouble remembering the lyrics or no? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, so there's, uh, there's one song on this um, new EP called Long New York, which is <laughs> about um, my father's friend who uh, has Alzheimer's. And the lyrics shift purposefully uh, like there's this basically the same line with different ne- like line, like words at the end of each one, mm-hmm. kind of forgetting itself over the course of the song, which makes it a hard song to remember yeah. when you're singing it live. <laughs> you totally mess it up. <laughs> yeah, and maybe not the song thematically that you would want to mess up given the right, given exactly. the subject matter. No, yeah. no, you know, no, yeah. You can't. yeah, like a terrible irony. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's uh, so yeah. I forget. Those are hard. Those are hard. But I think we're there now. <laughs> yeah. And well, in terms in terms of the music, um, one thing I was reading about the music is that uh, I think I read somewhere that you said that the as it goes forward, the music uh, is going to become, or you aim to make it more frenetic. And I'm kind mm. of curious. Like I, I mean, I in terms of your happening. sound, I yeah, don't so remember we'll, saying that. But. Well, I, it's possible you didn't say it. Someone yeah. said it maybe on your behalf. Oh, great, uh, great thought. But it is read, it is readable when one, you know, right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> things about you guys. So, um, yeah, you know, and just in terms of your sound and how you uh, conceive it, how you execute it, you know, what what you kind of look to put into it in terms of the the rhythm and the and the style of it. Um, you know, how does that work? <laughs> yeah, I, I think that. Frenetic is a good word. I mean, you know, I think that this new album that we're in the process of writing now, something I've been thinking about a lot is writing songs that are, the songs are really complex. There's a lot of moving parts and the riffs and rhythms are kind of complicated. But I think I want to build something that feels at any moment like it could fall apart Mm -hmm. um, and that the falling apart is where the emotion comes from or where, you know, or like the keeping together or falling apart, that kind of dichotomy is where the emotion yeah kind of parallel to memory actually and the way memories sort of (laughs) Hmm, you know crumble crumble (laughs) as you try to think of them yeah that i I just you know intuited that right here (laughs) wow um so you guys are going to do uh one more i think it's from glint yeah yeah uh what's that one it's afterlight it's the last song on the ep okay whenever you're ready thanks Let's stay caught in hopes, former ties till I'm lost. Letting go, getting older. After light, after light, after light, after light, after light, after light. After light, after light, after light, after light, after light, after light. Love's path, silver ghosts on our shoulders But our lives, fall come, give another After light, after light, after light After light, after light, after light After light, after light, after light, after light Light, after light, after light, 
came out in April. Um, I I know that you guys have one date coming up in Brooklyn, I think in September. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if uh, there are others to be mentioned, but I know that one's coming. Yeah, it's September 29th at Union Pool. Union Pool. Yeah. Um, and people can check out all of the uh, all of the videos that accompany the songs on StolenJars.com. Yep. yep. Yeah. So, um, yeah, everyone come out to Brooklyn and uh, check these guys out. September 29th. And pick up Glint. Um, Stolen Jars, thank you so much for uh, coming to Pace today and, yeah, and playing for us. Yeah, thanks so much for having us. Yeah, yeah. it was great. Um, <gasps> come back anytime. <laughs> thanks. <laughs>